Oh, hey, guys, I'm Ash with Ashiwa Fire Kitty, and welcome back to my Animal Crossing New Leaf Diary. Alright, this time let's just start. There's not much to say, and uh, let's go with day one of this week, which is Monday. The 15th, yeah. Alright, so this is how my house was looking like. I always like to show my house exterior and, you know, the clothes I'm kind of wearing because I change my outfits quite often. Mostly because I buy a lot of stuff from Abel's and Mabel's boutique. So yeah, pretty much that's how it looked like. This is how it looked like on the inside. So I had my bed, my closet, that weird candlestick because uh, somebody actually came by the last week. I showed, I think. And they were like, oh, you have nothing on your walls. And then they sent me that weird candlestick thing. So I put it there because... Well, I didn't have a lot just yet. I mean, I know that those items aren't exactly super, but, you know, you kind of take what you can get, right? In the beginning, anyways. I do have... You can barely see it, but I do have that blue boxing mat. I actually got that from Kid Cat. Uh, so as much as I... quote-unquote didn't like it in a, in a way, I guess. I did want to display it because, you know... It's Kid Cat. It's from Kid Cat. It's his gift, so... Then we had a new person moving in, Frita, and, well, I went to welcome her, so, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. She's a, like, uh, one of those Aries, uh, cheap things. I forgot, I don't know the word in English, I'm sorry. And here is my house again, because I got that table, I actually believe it was from Frita, but don't hold me to it. So, yeah. I'm pretty much slowly filling up my house, I guess. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this day. I didn't catch anything, so let's move on to the next. Alright, here. My house is already looking a little different. I changed the door. I bought that mermaid door, really. I kind of liked the star in the middle, so... I don't, I'm not specifically a fan of mermaids or anything, but it's just it has good colors and it has a lot of stars, so that's my thing, right? <laughs> then I went to try this thing on in the shop, like this input, I think, is what it is. It was cr it's like I didn't buy it, but it was just funny, and I thought I should show it off. So there you go. <laughs> it looks pretty silly. Then we actually had. I got an invitation a few days ago before this day from Frita. She said she had a birthday and she was going to invite me. And so I went to her birthday party, which was kind of weird because there's just Tsurano in there. There was just one person visiting her. Um, and the cool thing is that if you talk to them, they ask, they basically tell you, Oh, you know, you don't have to bring a gift or anything, but... I always bring one anyways, and I gave it to her. I'm not even sure anymore what I gave her, actually, though. Uh, I really don't remember right now, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I gave her a gift, though. That was pretty cool. And this is pretty much how the room looked like. It was really neat, like, her furniture, her usual furniture, is pretty much gone, except for a seating opportunity, the balloon, a little music, and little flowers and stuff, and then the huge freaking cake there in the middle. One hell of a party with just one person though, huh? <laughs> oh well. Then I went to see Isabel. I think this is where... I'm not sure anymore, but I forgot to take a screenshot, so I'm pretty much thinking that this is what it was. I think she mentioned that she would like to... Um, she asked me if I went to the beach, ever. And she said that if I ever go, she would really appreciate if I would bring her a seashell. And since I'm so all over giving Isabel or Shih Tzu a, you know, gift and presents because I really like her, I obviously went right off and got her one. So she really appreciated it. Like she blushed and stuff. It was cool. It was cute. I also started to have a lot of visits, especially this day. I had a few friends over. I had uh, Largo from Firgar over. And this is not the only one. This was pretty much visiting day. <laughs> I had BJ Dub over. I forgot what his town is called, though. <laughs> I took the screenshot a little too late. So, yeah. 
he came over to. They weren't all there at once, by the way. It was one after the other, so. And I had Lucky from Agrabah, so Lucky 70X. It was funny, he looked like Link, and, you know, he's from Agrabah. I'm like, Link lives in Agrabah? Okay, that's new to me, but, you know. And I also took my first trip. Those were my first three visitors, like outside visitors. Then I took my first trip and I went to Lucky's. Yep. Welcome to Agraba. Um, as you see there, there's Link holding a tri the Triforce on his flag. And I just looked around a little bit. Unfortunately, the connection kept going sour, I guess. So I couldn't save anything. I brought from his place. We tried it twice and both times it just wouldn't save when I, I, I went back. Must have been the internet or something. In any case, I found this thing and I don't know what it is. I'm assuming one of the villagers uh, requested it, but it was so cool I had to take a picture of it. It was nice. I like visiting people's towns. It's neat. So, yeah. <laughs> then we get to what I've caught. So, the Agrias butterfly. This is my favorite friggin' butterfly because it's really, really... Well, it's, it's beautiful, really. I caught one extra so I could display it in my house, actually. So, I really, really like this one. There you go. That's a better picture a little bit because I kind of couldn't see the wings so well. I think that's my super favorite butterfly. I need to check it out in real life if they actually look like that. If they do, my god. I want one. <laughs> So then we had a mantis. There's not much to say here, I guess. It was just sitting on flowers, I believe. And I saw it and caught it. Then the red snapper, which is pretty much one of my favorite fish from the um, GameCube version. Mostly because it's valuable along with that zebra fish, so, you know. Then we had the long locust, which is so weird to say, I guess. They jump around pretty much everywhere, so you can get plenty of them. And here's a mosquito. My god, those friggin' mosquitoes in summer. I hate them. I hate them. It's like, especially if you're decorating the town, there's a friggin' mosquito coming like every other minute. It's annoying. Well, there you go. That was it for this day. So let's move on to the next. So, as always, starting out in my house. This is pretty much how it looks. I got or bought, I'm not sure anymore, that mosaic lamp there. It's really cool. I'm not sure if it's called mosaic lamp or glass tile lamp. Something like that in any case, so there you go. Then I actually, um, this is kind of interesting. I really liked that they added this. I didn't know the game had it. You can play games with your NPC villagers. It's really, really cool. I played hide and seek with them, so basically Gwen, Frita and Puddles went to hide in the village and you had to find them within a certain time I think and then I think I got a prize for it actually I'm not sure anymore though, but I think so yeah, but that was really cool then we had somebody new move in, Lopez which is kind of funny, it's just the name, it, it just fits so nicely It's it's awesome, I see what they did there this is an antelope, so Lopez and well, I don't know if he's Mexican, but <laughs> then I went to visit Slim's town. He has his name. Uh, he has his town called Popstar, based on a Kirby reference. So I went to visit, and he gave me that gift. He said, "I have a gift for you. I have a gift for you," and he gave me these cat ears. Which are really cute. They look kind of weird because any kind of hat looks weird on my character specifically. Maybe stone characters in general. But it's it's really cute. He gave me this gift. so. And then, yeah, I don't know. I just took a few more screenshots from his town. Um, you can chat when you meet up with people. So I'm demonstrating this here. This It's kind of limited. Like, there's a character limit, obviously. But you can just keep going over and over. It's like in a chat, pretty much, so it's cool. Then I went to go buy some stuff. I buy quite a lot of um, colored glasses just to spice my, um, I guess, my look up. 
So I bought these pink ones. They look kind of funny. So. And here, this is, I believe, pretty much the first shark. Or one of the first sharks I saw. I'm like, dude, what the hell is that? And I'm um, all, oh, there's sharks in this game. And I'm like, well, geez, that's... Well, it freaked me out, basically. Sharks kind of freak me out. Especially if it's like, oh, look, we're getting so close to the beach. And, you know, you can technically go take a bath. But, you know, there's sharks and they're gonna eat you. But that's cool, right? You know, keep going into the freaking sea. Because why not? But, yeah. Oh, and this is the... What is it called? The picture I tweeted. It was titled something like, Slim and I found Nemo. So there you go. <laughs> we were just being stupid and silly. It's cool though. We both caught a Nemo. Or Nemo. And we showed it off. To make this little picture. It was nice. And here we have some more fish that we caught. He had one of those zebra knife jaw fish. I think it's called knife jaw. And I have a, a blue marlin. Those are really cool fish. I kind of like them. They're awesome. But yeah. Then to my daily catch, a uh, robust cicada. They're everywhere, man. Seriously. They're just everywhere. So, whatever. <laughs> a horse mackerel. My god, they're everywhere too, especially if you don't want them to be. It's annoying. A banded dragonfly. There's plenty of those too, so. A puffer fish. Again, plenty of those. A seahorse. It's actually kind of cute. It's really nice. It's neat. I like it. A bared knife jaw. Yeah, that one. I really like this fish too, along with the red snapper, because it's. Well, it gives you a lot of money, first of all, and it's just. I don't know. It's kind of neat. It's really neat. This gives you 5,000 bells. The red snapper gives you 3,000, so. It's pretty good. It used to give you more on the GameCube version, I think. I think it was 10,000, but don't hold me to it. <laughs> a diving beetle, which is one of those friggin' bugs that you need to catch while they're on top of the water, because underwater they look like crabs, so you could... You end up thinking that you need to use a, um... You know... A pole, like a fishing rod, but no, you don't. And here, the Raja... Brook butterfly. It's really cool. It's really nice. I like those butterflies they have. They're awesome. And last but not least, the blue marlin. It's really nice. I like catching these. I really do. They play good too, so there you go. Anyways, that's it for that day. So let's move on to next. Yeah, so it was raining that day, and I had a nice ribbon umbrella, which is cute. And I changed my outfit again and everything, so, I mean, you see it, so there you go. And, oh, this is where Kid Cat asked me to change his catchphrase. The problem, though, is that I misunderstood. I thought he meant the phrase that he greets people with. Except it was, you know, instead of his psh at the end. So I screwed it up. I told him to say self, which makes no sense right now, so, oops. Then I finished to pay off my next loan, my next home loan. That was pretty cool. I was like taking screenshots of those, you know, quote unquote achievements. It's pretty good. And here I was building a bridge, a second bridge basically, because there was one in the town already. So I built this and I pretty much paid it off. Usually I pay off my projects within one day immediately, usually, because I just go farm money and paid off so yeah catches of the day the walking leaf which looks like an item actually like an item laying on the floor so if you ever see one just randomly laying next to a tree it's probably one of these so before you approach it just take your uh, bug net out and uncatch it because it's gonna walk away as the name suggests so yeah <laughs> then we have this olive flounder which I think she calls it a dab in the game it's kind of funny but yeah, it's derpy, so... <laughs> and a surgeon fish, along with his buddy, the butterfly fish. They're both a thousand worth, I think. They're really nice. Those are those two fish that really go together well uh, in actual aquariums. A lot of people have them together. I would say they're almost like cousins or something. 
Oh, an ocean sunfish. Basically Mumbo from Zelda. <laughs> and the thing is that it looks like a shark. So it has the fin out. And I'm still... I'm like... I probably need to look it up on Wikipedia because I'm like... Do they actually swim like that? Because I'm curious now. This game makes me re really, really curious about different animals and behaviors. So I might have to look that up sometime. Then we have a wharf roach. Well, not much to say about this. It's a roach, so... <laughs> oh, a shark. My god, I freaked out when I caught this thing. Again, sharks kind of freak me out in general, so... It's huge when it stands next to, or when it hangs next to you when you have it in your hands, whatever. It's pretty much almost as big as you. It's... I don't know, it's just freaky. It freaks me out. Especially in most cases, you walk down the beach and you don't expect anything and then suddenly you see this thing with the fins out. And I, I freak out a lot. <laughs> then we have the Miyama stag. Well, it's just one of them beetles. So, yeah. And the saw shark. This one doesn't freak me out so much. It's mostly just a normal shark because it just... Those dead eyes, man. So, yeah. That's it for that day, so... Let's keep going. Friday. I changed the house a little bit again. My outfit not so much, I don't think. But, yeah, this is pretty much how it started. It was sunny again. Oh, by the way, if you ever have a rainy day you should totally go fishing there's gonna be a lot of sharks and all of those expensive fish so that's how you make a lot of money that's how I pretty much paid off a lot of my projects um, in general I pay off or I pay more attention to the projects the town projects than my own house um, so basically I don't expand my house a whole lot and instead I build on the town first but that's just me I mean other people might do it different so then we have here a um, little ceremony. Every time you finish a project, there's a little ceremony. This one was for the bridge, as I said, that I built the previous day. So, Unfortunately, you can always just build one project a day. I mean, I see where they're going with it, and it's technically a good thing, because, you know, otherwise you could, like, spam build and be done in a week or so. But it's also kind of a little sad in a way, because I usually like building new stuff, so, you know. They go, they pop their crackers and stuff. They're, what's it called, like their firework crackers thingies. It's pretty cool, it's nice. I usually take screenshots of these, so. Then I had Kid Cat over in my house. And <laughs> he thinks that my closet has, or is a total mess. Actually, not so much, it's very organized. I um, organize it by type what it is you know like for example clothes or fruit or whatever the hell so I kind of wish I could show you but well <laughs> then well this is I kind of found this funny because he said wow I've been here for a while I'm going to be late for my thumb wrestling class I'm like you would Kit Kat you would just I don't know he's just so typical I really like him actually he's He's kind of weird. I mean, he's all like this whole sports kind of type, just jock, as they call them in uh, Animal Crossing. But it's really cool. I like him a lot. I love talking to him. So uh, he says, "I really like your place, though. Let's do this again." And again, I screwed up that sub thing. <laughs> no, it looks just stupid. Whatever. I'll fix it next time. We actually had um. Yeah, I, I went to Silano's place and he said the following. Hey now, you're being way too nice, don't you think? Well, stop being so considerate of others. I think it was something he wanted and I said yes or something. And that's what he ended up saying. I just found it funny, so I took a screenshot. So. Yeah. Then my daily catches. The tiger beetle. Which, I'm not sure why they call it that. I don't see any tiger. I mean, I can kind of see it, but I don't know. The stink bug. Bleh. I'm glad I never crossed paths with one of those in real life. And that's pretty much it for this day. Yep. We're already getting to the weekend. Let's see. So, Saturday. This is how everything looked. Guy was good. Everything was good. So, yep. 
Then my interior, it got bigger because I expanded my house another bit. So this is how it ended up looking. Um, yeah, and still not a, really a lot of furniture that I liked, but, well, I'm, you know, making my way up, I guess. Then there was this bug off day. Basically, that means you just catch bugs and you bring them to Nat here. And if you have a certain point amount, you win prizes. And if you have most of everybody, you win the whole tournament. I ended up bringing him a banded dragonfly for 64 points. My first bug was just some random bug, just something. I don't know anymore. Um, so I got him the banded dragonfly, for, which was 64 points. It kind of depends on how big it is for its... Um, for its species, so basically the inch amount and how the colors are. I don't know how you can tell the colors, like if they're good or not. I don't know if you can even see that, but he just values it and um, pretty much that's how you get your points. From what I've learned here, uh, the Raja Brook Butterfly gave 90 points, which gave me first prize because he said, oh, if you crack 80 points, you get the first prize. Um, what he ended up giving me, basically, is this um, buck furniture, like that caterpillar sofa and that stag beetle chair, I think it's what it was. Um, it's event furniture, you can't buy it anywhere, so you're gonna have to win it from those bug off days with Nat. Um, you can't order it anywhere or whatever, so unless you have a friend who doesn't need them, this is the only way to get them. So basically, during that... Um, tournament, pretty much. I felt like the insects that give you the most points are the f either the big beetles, like the very rare beetles, or the dragonflies, or the butterflies, but don't even come with anything else. Doesn't really help. Then I had Flimmy over again in my town, and he left this message. I love kitty and I love meow meow, hence pop star cookies. I found that cute, so I usually leave um, an entry when I go to people's places, at least for the first time. Um, I didn't leave a message every time I went to Slim's town because sometimes we just met up to exchange gifts or something, so, <laughs> you know. And I went to buy my first fortune cookie, and because I don't have a lot of those play coins. And basically what I got was the prize number 19, which was a gold pole. Now, personally, I'm not using these, but Slim collects them, so I usually give them to him. So that's cool. <laughs> I don't want any Mario equipment, really. Again, this is stuff you can't buy other than with those play coins and fortune cookies. You can't, like, order it. You can just trade it from other friends or so. Um, other than that, you can't get it anywhere, so, yeah. Then we had Tortimer who said something about how I'm gonna be able to go on an island. And, well, I went to check it out. Like, I went to see what this was all about because I heard a lot of good stuff about it. Now, the catches of the day were a Walker Cicada, which, if you watch The Walking Dead, this makes you probably. This is gonna probably make you laugh. Yep. A little bit. Slim and I had fun with it, for sure. Like, Walker! Ah. If you don't know The Walking Dead, you're probably not gonna understand the joke and you're probably gonna think we're weird. So yeah. <laughs> and this was pretty much the whole catch of the day and everything else, so let's move on to the final day, Sunday. Alright, so it starts out with my house again. Which, I always do that. The sky was kind of grayish, it was kind of weird. It was interesting though, because I like that there's so many different letters. It's not just sun and rain, or sun, rain and snow, I'm assuming. But there's also just like gray days or something, which is it's really nice, I like that. I like that touch. Now, they showed the bug off results. I was the winner with 90 points, and the second was uh, Sudano with 68, and Bertha with 37, so 
You don't get to see what the others give to Nat or who has the most points. You get to see it on the board on the next day, apparently. So, that's pretty cool. Now, this is the first time I was able to go to this island because the first time you just have to go to the bridge thingy to the dock and talk to Tornimer apparently. Um, the way to unlock this is that Tornimer basically comes to your village and talks about it, so don't miss uh, don't worry about missing it. It's just gonna you're gonna know when when it's available, so yeah. I took a few screens from the travel there. Basically, this is when we just leave the, the dock, and then when we're on the sea, he starts singing. Um, you can actually break this off with B by pressing B, and then he's gonna make some funny comment about it. Um, so you should try it sometimes. Just saying. So this is where you end up. You end up on this cabana island or something, and the only way to buy anything here is by uh, using metals. They're called metals. And the way you make medals is by playing little mini games to give different amounts uh, depending on the difficulty or what it is and whatnot or how well you did. Basically, all of the above. And this is how you buy stuff. Now, since I am personally going for that mermaid furniture series, this is the only way for me to even get that stuff. So you have to come here and buy those single pieces but the problem is that there's not always a mer mermaid furniture piece there because there's also that i think it's cabana furniture but something like that don't hold me to it so i have to come here every day and check to see if basically if there's a piece of furniture i still need usually costs 40 medals which sounds like a lot but if you have good games you can get that really easily so you can also go outside, like, on the island and swim around, like you get a wetsuit. And you can swim in the ocean and dive. Um, this helps you catch some critters, like underwater critters or undersea critters. And they're gonna go in your, well, lexicon or whatever it is. Encyclopedia, pretty much. There you go. Now, I usually take screens of what games I'm playing, so I know what I did and whatnot, you know. So basically, I did the easy gardening tour that day. It's always random games, I figured out, apparently. So, every day you go there, there might be different ones, so don't get too used to just one. You might want to try as many of them as you can and figure out which ones you're good at. And then, whenever they're available, you want to spam play that game, I guess. I made the, or I played the excavating ore one, which, it was fine, but it's not exactly great to get medals. I feel like the easy gardening tour was better. Uh, the amateur's free diving tour, this was, ugh. Don't, I don't like diving under time pressure, it's just, they, they swim away and then it's like, uh, you know, so, yeah, I'm not gonna really... I never really did any more diving stuff, I don't think, so. And then we have, yeah, crab free diving, crab free diving tour, my god. Um, basically what I did the first time was there were just four games anyway, so I tried them all out. Just to see what they're all about and how they work, so. But yeah, the diving is not good, honestly. Not for me anyways, it's just... <sighs> you don't get a lot out of it, basically. Yep. Then a trip back, it was already kind of being late here, so that was kind of nice. Um, and, well, again, he sings, and you can break it off with B. <laughs> then, since I made a little bit of money with fish that you're going to see later on, uh, like in a second, I um, started this uh, the yellow bench project here in the very... Like, entrance of my town pretty much, as you can see in the background from those railroad tracks. And I paid it off in one swoop, so it's not too expensive anyway. It's like 30,000, I think. So yeah. And this is how it looks finished, pretty much. Yep. And there was this thing, um... 
I found one pouch, like uh, this pouch item, randomly in the town, and apparently it's a lost item. And what you have to do is pick it up and go ask people about it. So, you know, and bring it back. You have to figure out who it belongs to, and then you, I think you get a little prize too. So, just felt like showing this off because I was kind of confused at first. I'm like, what the hell is that? So, catches. Sea weed, which is something you get from diving, pretty much. Sea grapes, which is again something you get from diving. Flatworm, more diving items, pretty much. Uh, spotted garden eel. You can, I don't know if you can really see that. It's kind of small, but uh, yeah, this is from diving too. Then a whale shark, which again freaks me out a little less than a normal shark, too. No, oh, that's a huge beast, my god. And there, I, I kept catching a lot of those, and they're also kind of pretty... They have a lot of worth, pretty much. Uh, a ribbon eel, which looks weird as hell. A Napoleon fish. <laughs> this thing always kind of scares me a little bit, like the first moment I get it out, because you expect something small based on the shadow, and then it's this thing. <laughs> it's really big, so... Um, migratory locust. They're everywhere on that island. They're jumping around like dorks. A Murray eel. Um, yeah, there's plenty of those too, I guess. And a Goliath beetle. So yeah, those are actually those beetles from those uh, from that island are kind of worth a lot actually. So you might wanna, if you need money, basically go to the island. So yeah, that was it for this week. I hope you enjoyed watching this. As always, uh, feel free to, you know, come by my town sometime. Like, let's exchange friend codes or something. Or, I also have a dream suit. Is that what it's called right now? So, if you want to come by while I'm not here, you can do so. Um, I also have a lot of stuff that I want to trade. Um, I have a lot of furniture that you get from balloons, for example. Um, or those insect stuff. Like anything that I'm not, that I don't need and that is more of an event furniture, like those, that balloon series from the balloon gifts going through the village that you need to shoot with a slingshot. Um, and any other thing. I'm storing it in my, uh, I'm storing it and if people want it, if somebody looks for something, let me know, maybe, because maybe I have whatever the hell you're looking for, and I'd love to trade. In that case, also feel free to check the wish list in the video description, so you can check what exactly I'm interested in, and if you want, you can also make your own. So maybe we can meet up sometime and exchange stuff. Uh, if you want, you can also put fossils there, so anything we can trade, pretty much. You can't trade fish. Uh, bugs and stuff like that, but you can trade fossils and furniture and all that other stuff, so there you go. Um, and other than that, please remember that this whole Let's Play is affiliated with a lot of my items in my shop, a lot of Animal Crossing items, and also a lot of other stuff. For example, ponies, so my little pony, Friendship's Magic, There's I have stuff like that too. Uh, Sailor Moon, and a lot of other things, so feel free to drop by and check. Alright, other than that, feel free to leave your thoughts, comments, tips, anything. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.